Hello my friends, welcome to the metal shop. Early in the morning here, I'm shooting what's quiet in my house uh, for a change. We are back, as you saw from the opening picture there, we're back on the Jerry Cantrell Telecaster. I originally called it a Warmoth Telecaster, but research shows me that it was more than likely a Boogie, Boogie Bodies Telecaster and neck. I think Jerry actually worked for Boogie Bodies. Uh, it's been about a year, I know. Um, I generally work on these projects in the winter time when I'm cooped up inside the house. It's cars during the warm summer months. Anyway, so it, it worked out in my favor because, as you can see here, and I'll insert, um, after I'm done running my yap here, I'll insert some pictures um, that have surfaced of some, there's some excellent pictures of the Telecaster. And to duplicate Jerry's kind of graffiti finish, I really required those those better pictures. And what it looks like is that he went on a European tour. There's some great pictures from the UK and from Paris from 91. And I would say that was when the guitar was very first painted because there was still, and if you look closely at the pics, you could see that they used a paint pen and they drew all over the Kaler. They drew dots all over the, the pickup. And that stuff got quickly worn off as did this like a large flower painted up in here. That got worn off pretty quickly. Anyway, so I've discovered a lot of those picks, so this should help in getting this painted. And there's also, it says, uh, grunge is a state of mind here. And that took me a long time to decipher. A friend of mine actually helped me because it's like grunge and then it's like is, uh, like above each other. It looked like a different letter. Anyway, really strange. So, and oh, what took so long? This pickup that I filled in here, it sunk again. Even after the bodywork, I don't know if you can remember, if you look at the last one, you could see a line there. It sunk. There's a reason why when they, when this is done properly, when you fill a pickup route or a, a bridge route or whatever, why they top the whole guitar. It sunk again. My friend bodyworked it for me again. He promised it won't sink again. He used some some, I don't know, some super duper filler. And he's like, we're, you know, we're done with this. He's like, it, it won't, it won't sink again. So far, so good. It's been a while. I had to repaint the top. Came out pretty good. It's a little, I didn't sand in between coats. It's a little bit of a texture, but that's okay. Because we're going to have, I'm going to have an artist. I'm in working on that, you know, to get all of the artwork done on this guitar. Um, I painted this white. Don't know why. I just did. The input jack. Um, I did cut a control cavity here. I you know, made a template out of paper. I had some just blank, you know, pick guard or cavity stock. And all what I did was I cut this out with a Dremel, the basic shape, and then I ran it, ran it through a bench grinder just to get the final. And it doesn't, it fits reasonably well, but if you look closely in here, there's kind of a bunch of schmutz. There's a bunch of paint and a bunch of stuff that kind of, sinks in this cavity makes it and I should have scraped it out and I maybe I still could makes it for a better fit but this actually fits quite well and looks pretty nice so cool with that um anyway so we're off to have this painted the next thing that we need to do is I need to rebuild this Kaler
right, my friends. So I hope you've uh, appreciated the briefest of updates here on our Jerry Cantrell Boogie Bodies Telecaster replica. Um, got the uh, Kaler all torn apart, put back together, reconditioned, all oiled parts moving freely. This thing is good to go. Um, so as I stated, we're going to get the artwork going. And just so to, fair warning, it's going to be a while before... I'm able to get this thing painted. A couple, couple of artists I have uh, considering um, to use to, to paint this thing up. But it's going to be on their uh, time schedule. I'm sure it's going to take quite a bit of time. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to time lapse the, uh, the Kaler in this particular video and make it a separate video where I tear apart. And I'll go into much more depth on the reconditioning and uh, taking apart and putting back together of the Kaler. So we're going to end here on the Jerry Cantrell Telecaster update. Hope you appreciate all the new photos that I've dug up that I've inserted into here. And I hope that you stay tuned um, for much more content like this on my channel. Please like, share, subscribe. Please hit me up in the comments. I still respond to all my comments. Ask you please be constructive. That's it. All right, my friends. Take care.